Hey y'all. All right, let's get into this. BTS, I've seen them four times at this point, sometimes exceptionally up close. That sugar in that blue with the white sleeve scratching his head, by the way, just in case you didn't know his uniform, his outfit from fire. Sometimes at a distance. But this one particular time, I saw them a little bit more close than I would be more comfortable with on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, this is not something new that happens to me. If you go further back in the history of my channel, there is multiple stories of me absolutely having everything messed up in my memory and recollection when it comes to particular idols. Um, this is no different. So this is the highlight tour. Yes, the big deal controversial highlight tour that happened a few uh, years ago. Was it last year? Or was it even earlier than that? Not really sure. Not really important to the context of the story. Long story short, I had press coverage for it and uh, me and a group of friends got to attend. So we're there. It's at the House of Blues here in Houston. We are in a standing area getting our jam on and whatever. They perform a couple of songs. Truthfully, truthfully, I was about to say truthfully, but I don't know if y'all know what that's from. But truthfully, <laughs> none of us were really here for this story about all of that. We are here to figure out what this mind swipe white thing is. When BTS debuted in 2013, I was all hype about their concept and whatnot, and a tad bit judgmental, but my focus was on Rap Monster. I wasn't even into G-Man, because I wasn't paying attention to the abs. I felt like he was like clickbaiting me in real life, and I didn't acknowledge Sugar at all. There's a friend in our circle. She was my podcast co-host for a while, and she has been featured on other videos as well. But her name is Christian, and Christian kept telling us that we needed to keep an eye on Sugar, he was gonna come out of nowhere and jack one of us up. That was always her bias. And we're like, girl, bye, whatever. It's all about this rap mod, or it's all about this this G man, or it's all about this this gin. All of that was going on. Okay, performances are over. We start crowding over to get ready to do more detailing for press and whatnot, and then realize that our tickets have a high touch. I keep doing press that ends up having a high touch involved with it, even if I'm not prepared. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I went in and it was very fast. And what I remember is V, Jen, and then Sugar, then Rapmon, and then I don't remember nothing after that because my whole thing, anytime it's a high touch, I always say, oh, Kaza Hamida, you know, I say thank you because they're there performing. So I get to the guys, Kazamida, Kazamida. I get the sugar. <laughs> I get the sugar and we make eyes and sugar look like he ain't there for none of it. Not that he has an attitude or he's frustrated. He just looks like his usual sleepy sloth style. I looked at that man, he looked dead into my soul and we hit hands and I said, oh my God, sugar. And everything went, I don't remember saying thank you to nobody else. I came out shook. I don't even use the word shook, but for this, it fits. I came out hella shook. Didn't know what to do. I'm like, something transpired there where I'm not gonna be able to recover. I have not been the same since, y'all. It's progressively turned into an issue from that literal point where I go looking for him now. It's like, hmm, I wonder what Sugar's doing today. He's like, he wiped my mind. He completely jacked up my BTS bias list. It was Rapmon and G-Men and then the rest of them. Now it's Sugar, Rapmon, and G-Men. <laughs> he just, he messed it up. He messed it up so bad that obviously I do rants about his his mixtape and, and had a fit on Twitter because there was a rumor third video and we didn't get it and then it turned out that we weren't going to. He told a fan and actually wrote it down and she shared it with all of the army online. But like, he jacked me up with an eye thing. Y'all, he just, that was too much for me. I didn't expect that. I didn't. That might be a group I can't interview. <laughs> so yeah, the story was straight to the point. I didn't want to dilly dally too long on it and just give y'all the information, but Sugar's not a game. Screw my whole mind up. What has he done to you? <laughs> Bye y'all.